Hi, I'm Peter Wasserman. I'm really happy to be here with Keeper Collection, and I'm going to answer a few questions that a lot of people have asked me about champagne. Another thing I'm often asked is pop or no pop. <laughs> this is a, this is a fun question. Well, obviously, when you're in a very festive uh, situation, uh, the pop is great. It just adds so much to the party. However, when you're presenting a champagne at table and you're a professional sommelier, for example, the, reg the, the usual way of doing it is opening the bottle of champagne with no pop at all. Just a little... Now, there's one more thing here. You can also savor champagne. But you really need to learn how to do it. I would suggest going to YouTube because there's a few tutorials on YouTube. And that's a very, very fun thing to do. Now, sometimes you notice when you open a bottle of champagne, it just goes flying out of there and there's a lot of bubble, a lot of mousse. And sometimes it doesn't do that. Well, generally, it's the temperature of the champagne that affects that. The warmer the wine, the more mousse you might have. And the colder the wine, the less mousse you will have at opening. <laughs>